Hey guys, what's up? It's Ashes TV. I'm here with Christian Howard. He is Ken Masters in the Street Fighter Legacy and Street Fighter's Assassin's Fist. If you guys haven't watched these, strongly recommend it for all Street Fighter fans and all fighting game fans, actually. So, yeah. Yeah, thank you, Ash. Really good to be here. And uh, if you haven't checked it out, please check it out. It's uh, on Machinima on YouTube. Um, and here we are at Wednesday Night Fight Nights. Heck yeah, Wednesday Night Fights. The whole FGC from Southern California showed up. The whole house is packed. It is going off. You guys can probably hear it right now. <laughs> you guys, the tournament's starting very shortly, so I just have a couple questions for you. Um, Fire away. In regards to... You, you kind of like are one of the trailblazers for live-action video games. Um, Live action video game series and movies. I personal personally one of my favorites that I that I've like seen to this day is the Street Fighter Assassin's Fist. So I just think you guys did a wonderful job on keeping the story the story very authentic and very real and really giving you a whole new insight on the characters entirely. So I think you guys did phenomenal research and jobs on that. But when it comes to live action video games, a lot of like new things are coming out. Mm. Um, I just saw Netflix is actually starting a Legend of Zelda live action right. video game series. What do you think about that? I think it's it's good, and and you know, like you said, I think we were at the forefront of it along with the the Mortal Kombat series that came out. It was it was developing stuff that that was new media content and uh, kind of made by fans as well, um, and. You know, trying to maintain control, and I think you can do that in a in a more independent market than you can by going to a big studio. And hopefully, they're seeing sense as well. I mean, the um, Deadpool has just done phenomenally, and that's kind of staying true to what the comics about. Um, yeah. So I think that's definitely the way forward, and that's what people are doing. And I'd be very excited to see Zelda in live action. I think if it's done right, and and hopefully they're taking note with everything that's going on, I think it should be done well. And as long as it's made with people that understand what was what drew people to it when we were younger i think that's that's what's most important is people fans of the game making it what they would want to see and i think that brings in a wider audience as well totally 100 percent. because it, yeah that's what we all want to see <laughs> yeah i've heard rumors of mega man even doing a live action series as well what do you think about that do you like mega man uh yeah i mean i played it a lot on the on the snes back in the day but um yeah i mean all these things i think if they're done right, if they're done well, there's there's definitely scope to do just amazing things with all of it. And I think it started with the kind of the, the Chris Nolan Batman sort of era that, that really showed people you can stay true and you can do it right and people will respond well. And Heck yeah, man. I mean, there's a lot of exciting stuff coming out. Totally. And speaking of Mega Man, did you ever beat Gokin? Did you ever beat Gokin at Mega Man? I, I, can't, I can't reveal the, the spoilers, but <laughs> yeah, the Japanese oh. made those games, so okay. they've got an advantage. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, we definitely don't want to have spoilers here, but what can you tell me about Violet Ken that isn't a spoiler? Violet Ken in terms of live action? Yes. Um, well, I think, I think you'll have to, to wait and see on that, but it's something um, we talked about, and I'd be very excited. You know, we've already got Evil Ryu that everyone saw in Assassin's Fist, and I think it would definitely be a, another dynamic to explore in Ken. Uh, and down the line when we've got Shadowloo and everything else, I think uh, there's definitely a lot of room to explore violent Ken and, and what he's going to be like. Yeah, and I think the entire community is really excited to see this happen. Like, we've all kind of been wanting it. I'm glad glad to hear and that. Yeah, you're, I'm really excited what's in store with that. And your guys' writing style, uh, Joey, you and the other writers that brought us Assassin's Fist and many other glorious titles, um, I think you guys are not, like, you guys aren't afraid to really like say tell it like it is right and um that's kind of catching on like you said with deadpool and we're, we're hearing about wolverine doing uh, right doing a rated r movie as well they did extremely well and yeah kind of pushing the boundaries is that something that is going to affect your guys's work in the future definitely i think um i mean i read an article with james gunn the guardians of the galaxy director and nice. and i i hope i mean he's basically saying how now that Deadpool's rated R and they've done it kind of the way it should have been done, mm -hmm. everyone doesn't just catch on to a trend and people actually try and invent something new. And that's what we wanted to do with Assassin's Fist, make it like the animes. Uh, so when Joey and I set out to write that, it was like, okay, what's, what's the story here to do with Ryu and Ken and their origins and Akuma and Goki? And I think they did the same with Deadpool. It was like, what is Deadpool all about? So 
I, I do hope it's not a trend and people just go, oh, a rated R Wolverine movie would just put loads of like gore in there and, and they actually go, what is Wolverine about? Because we haven't had that film either and I want to see that. I'm right? a big Wolverine fan. I really oh, want to cool. see that. That's awesome. Well, you heard it here first. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it looks like we got one a question from the, sh from the audience. They'd like to know what your workout regimen is. Workout regimen? <laughs> um, it's it's consistent. Let's put it that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I train weights, obviously, for, for the show. You know, the, the characters are bigger than life, and that's always going to be a challenge to be able to move and do things. So I'm training gymnastics a couple of times a week, and then in the gym the rest of the time, um, stretching as well. I see in Street Fighter V, Ken has got a lot more kicks, so I'm going to have to step up my game and do a bit more stretching. But... Yeah, it's um, it's just weekly. I'm doing cardio, weights, and whatever I can, and then eating as much as I can. <laughs> Sounds like a fun job. Sounds well, like yeah, yeah, work and play. Th there is are worse synonymous. things, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, training training is definitely fun, and I'm sure doing the stunts as well is a blast. You guys do all your own stunts, which yeah, I we we did in the series, really and the same in in Resurrection that's coming up. Um, Myself and Mike and Alain Moussi, who's uh, playing Nash, uh, phenomenal martial artist. And we all kind of like took some knocks and stuff, but you know, film is forever. So you gotta, you gotta take those hits. And, and I'm excited for everyone to see that. It's coming out uh, March 18th. March 18th, yeah. awesome. We Should got be, don't, don't quote me, but yeah. Okay, cool. Well, around that time, I will definitely be watching it. Hopefully you guys will be too. And yeah, thank you guys so much for stopping by and hanging out. This is Christian Howard. It was great talking to you, dude. Great I'm talking to you too. Great fan. Like I'm a big fan, and yeah, the whole storyline was just—it really, it really hit me. You guys did a fantastic awesome. job. Well, I'm glad to see you say that. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> All right. Oh, looks like we got one last question. One more question. <laughs> okay, we got tournament pools coming soon. You guys, tune in to Wednesday Night Fights on Level Up Live tonight tournament starting like now so you guys don't want to miss it um yeah you heard it here yeah right now <laughs> check it out yeah